Good morning world. Today I'm going to show you guys a day in my life. I'm so sleepy. It's an IST. The 25th World Scout Jamboree. Right now it is 6.39 a.m. And I'm going to go for breakfast. If I can't even open my eyes. We usually wake up at 5.30 for breakfast, but we haven't been waking up early recently because we're so tired. But we're gonna go now. Breakfast is at 6 until 8.30. So we gotta go and make a move and eat breakfast. My tent mate is Annie. <laughs> She's so sleepy. It's like me. So the lines to breakfast get insanely long. You know the first day when everyone arrived? The line was like two hours long. I don't even know how long it was. We ended up not going because we didn't even see the end of the line. But over the past few days, it has gotten better. So maybe it's not going to be that bad. I'm so sleepy, guys. Okay, I'm going to get changed. I brought three pink cuffs for my pajamas. <laughs> And honestly, I really need to clean my bed. Let me show you guys the, the crazy state that it is in. So that's my towel. And then look under it. Oh my god. I still have like two weeks left here. I came on the 28th and today is the... I don't even know what day it is. 4th of August and we're leaving on the 13th. That's like two weeks left. Is it? About two weeks. Okay. So I'm just... There's no dress code at this jamboree. You can just wear whatever you want. But you always need to wear a necker. This is the Malaysian contingent necker. Which I'm gonna wear now. And then you need your jamboree ID. It has my name on it. I am an IST. With my country and then my ID number. You can also pay with this Jamboree ID. I don't. I just use my other card. And then I am official media. I need this pass for when I go to work. Let's go to breakfast. Keep our shoes outside of the tent on a pallet like this. This is my tent and this is what it looks like around us. There are many um, dietary options like halal, gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian. Oh, my sister. Hello, good morning. You know, I went to the lost and found. She lost no, my expensive glasses. I've been looking for everywhere. Yeah, but you lost it, so you're irresponsible. And she borrowed it without my permission, so I'm kind of pissed. But it's okay, you can just buy it again. There's no point being upset. You know, even if I be upset, it's not going to bring the sunglasses back, so I'm just not going to be upset. So this is like the Malaysian campsite, and I think that's the Korean one. And uh, I don't know what country they're from. I know that tent is a Thai lady and it basically it's like a mini village of 158 countries so there's 158 countries and 43,000 participants but IST I feel I think there's like 15,000 honestly I'm not sure <laughs> Annie went to go and brush her teeth first but I don't see her so maybe she's in line for me already I found the matchy let's go it's really hot here, so we depend on the simple joys of camping. And one of our simple joys is finding out what the menu is today. We also have a friend that we made on the first day that we came here who works with one of the food sponsors. And we're always so excited to see him. I mean like, we don't even hang out. We just like, it's so exciting to just say hi every day. He smiles at us very nicely. Yeah, and he's so kind. He taught us how to use the vending machine. I'll show you, it's a bit complicated. You must be thinking like, huh? You don't know how to use a vending machine, but it was hard, okay? We did not get it because everything was in Korea. And sadly, today is his last day because he's going to his hometown or something. We're a bit sad. So the line's not too bad. Usually it goes all the way back there and it curls. That's usually the case for dinner. Yeah. I feel like for breakfast, everyone's just like, they just can't be fucked. We are entering. This hall can fit, what, 10,000 people? So you get your food over there. Just tables and tables and tables all the way there. I really, really need to go to the toilet. But I know if I go, I'll have to wait another 
another like 30 minutes to get in and I don't want to queue up again so I'm really trying to hold my shit <laughs> this is the food vending machine that I was telling you guys about another simple joy of this jamboree is going into the cafeteria and then while we're waiting in line there's a few air conditioned units Lunches. It's not really lunch. Snacks. It's like snacks. But I guess we stay full. No, I always buy other food. But we're gonna go back to our tent now and go and shower. When we come back from breakfast. We always roll up the door of our tent. Prop view down here. Hey, why do you roll so fast? I always stand that side. Yeah, this feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> Done! One thing about Korea is that it is so insanely hot. Like, it's not just hot, like, I can deal with hot, but it's like the kind of hot where your sweat drips. And like, some days I'm so tired and I just want to sleep in. But it literally feels like you're in a sauna. So I never sleep in. Because after 7.45, you'll sweat like the one that your whole, all your clothes get wet kind of sweat. So I guess the weather keeps everyone productive because everyone gets out of their tent by 8. Like no one is sleeping in. Maybe like the ones who are dead tired. No, but even when I'm dead tired, I'll still wake up. Because it's just, it's impossible to sleep in this weather. If there were trees, I feel like it would be okay. But this is literally like farmland. There's no trees. It's so hot. Shall we go to the toilet? Are you ready? The kajun, Bobby. I'm not even kidding when I sit to you. I'm dripping sweat. Can you see? I'm so sweaty, and I've only been in the tent for five minutes. Annie, why are you? She's taking so long to pack her shower bag. I don't even know why. Stressing okay, okay, me out. You know what's another simple joy? Coming out of your tent, and I'm feeling the breeze because like. It's so insanely hot outside, but it's even insanely hot <laughs> inside. Anyway, I did cupping yesterday, and Annie said she can see it, so I asked her to show. Does it look scary? She's better than yesterday. This is the shower. Okay, so this is what the shower room looks like. There's a table, and I always use this looking shower. Bag here, and then tying my toiletry bag like this. So, this is my shower setup. So, this is the shower. The water pressure is pretty good, the water is always cold. I'm gonna do my skincare. So, this is the face wash that I use, it's the fresh soy face cleanser, which is really really good. I've been using this for like a month, two months, no, three months. 
every night and day. Fresh sent it to me. But I don't want to show you guys until I try it. I know in my previous videos, I'm like, oh, I don't do any skincare. But I've been sticking to this routine every single day. And my skin has gotten so much better and moisturized because it used to be so dry. And then I use this serum, the Skin Resilience Activating Serum. It's almost finished, so I need to get another one. Oh, it's almost finished. Massage my face. Okay, and lastly, I use the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream, which, oh, I love a lot. I love all these products. It has honestly made my skin so much better. So my camera died while I was showering just now, but this is my outfit for the day. And I'm going to the IST Hub where I usually put on my sunscreen. This is what the IST Hub looks like. For my face, I use this sunscreen from Cute Skin. It's really good and easy to apply. For my legs, I use this Skin Aqua. I'm going to the convenience store to buy a drink. I have to walk all the way across the field there. I don't know, is this like 100 meters? Guys, as you can see, there's no trees around. It is extremely hot. The worst time of the day is noon. The heat just gets so insane. With no shade, no wind. This is already like the 7th. Let's see on the 28th. 28, 29, 30, 31. 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 days since I've been here. Things have gotten a lot better because when I first came, this place was a shithole. Like, it was so muddy. Nothing was ready. But now that the Jamboree has officially started, I feel like things are falling into place. Still not very ideal conditions because a lot of people are really suffering because of the heat. But I, I'm okay. I'm hanging in there. And I'm actually having fun despite the conditions. I know some people are really suffering from this heat because you see people passing out everywhere but I just do my best to keep myself okay. Do you see the ambulance? Damn, literally everywhere you go on this Jamboree site there's an ambulance now. I've never been to a camp where there has been so many ambulances that are actively in use. Usually the ambulance is just parked and you don't really use it. But this jamboree, everywhere I go, I hear the sirens. And that's pretty concerning if I'm being honest. Okay, we made it to the convenience store. Let's go in. As usual, it's really packed. This is the line to pay. I always buy this mango drink since day one and I've drank it every single day for the past eight days. Ready. This is genuinely the worst part of my day every single day. The 30 minute walk to the Media HQ in this 30 degrees weather. Oh my god, I'm starting to hate the number 30. Hey, that is my birthday. Okay, except that 30. I freaking hate the number 30. 30 minutes walk, 30 degrees weather. I don't mean to generalize and stereotype Koreans. But whenever I'm really tired, I always try to hitch a ride. And then these Koreans in like big cars, and they're the only ones, they will never ever stop. In fact, they would speed up. But foreigners, where their car is so full, they would stop. They will try their best to help us get in their car because they know how hard it is to walk in this heat. This heat is actually insane. But let's see if we're successful at trying to hitchhike with a Korean today. I doubt it. It's our eighth day here and it has never been successful. Most of the people in cars are Korean, by the way. Hey, oppa, oppa. <laughs> <laughs> we successfully hitched a ride from a Korean. Hey, we did it, you know? Yeah, we did it. This is the luck of the vlog. We've never been successful, by the way. Wow! Indonesian Okay, guys, so we made it to the HQ. 
and one piece i think this is the luck of the vlog we didn't have to walk ages this is the main building the media center is located in this building oh i'm there now it's located in this building they have these um i don't know what this water vapor thingy uh, Oh my god, oh my god, I just saw this person literally passed out on the stretcher So uh, another person from the medical center hitched the right with us And he said the medical center is way too busy and packed This is kind of scary, don't you think? Because we're in the middle of a heat wave, you know? Yeah Like an actual heat wave, it's the first that they've had in a year, in decades It's so hot Hello Hi <laughs> So it's located on the third floor and I usually finish this drink as I'm walking. We took the car so I'm still not done with my drink yet. Crossing over to the media center and I can bet you it's gonna be hella packed because there's like 90 people working in here. The show media center. Oh my god, so busy. <laughs> the president of the Korea Scout Association is here. I'm doing a vlog of a day in my life as an IS team member. How convenient. Yes. This is Lynn from Wasm. Hello. How's your day? So far so good. So I plugged in my laptop, phone, power bank, and camera battery to be charged. And I'm seeing what videos I should do today. This is my friend Anna from Brazil. And we are gonna swap knickers. <laughs> I've been wanting this scarf since the 24th World Scout Jamboree in West Virginia and it was so hard to get and I finally have it. Thank you. Welcome. So we have a quick team meeting now in the hallway. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> This is the social media team. Hi. Namira from Indonesia. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? Chile. I just left the main building and there's a basking performance outside of it. Wow! What country are you from? Where are you from? Spain! Spain. Wow. I've met up again with Annie and we're gonna go find Raika at a Malaysian food tent. Is it just a Korean thing where you have like 10,000 public safety alerts every day? Malaysia has no public safety alert. And every day I feel like I get like 10,000. Not exaggerating. It's become like a meme in our office that when it starts, it goes ting 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 ting. Everyone will just start dancing. Because it's in Korean, we don't, we have no idea what it's saying. Anyway, this is the food village. Food house information. In the middle of all the food houses, there is a taekwondo performance. <laughs> so we're currently looking for Raika. Raika! Is she there? Hello! <laughs> Hello. Hello. I saw Kaisi just now. As you can see, there's food from every country here. But I want to eat Korean food, like Korean fried chicken. Okay guys, so now we're ordering lunch at K Food Chicken. I thought Kentucky Fried. <laughs> and you okay, see, there's fried chicken, seasoned chicken, pickled chicken, chick rice, blah, 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 blah. And they have halal options. I am going to get chick rice. You? Me too, chick rice halal version. I'm having this chick rice. It comes with this sauce packet, mayo. Taste that. Not bad. Not too bad, but I wish it was spicy. There's free ice cream and pepero. Guys, we got the last ice cream. It's okay. So another activity they have on today is the K-pop random play dance. Ta-da! They're setting it up and it's gonna go on KBS apparently. I am doing the walk of hell right now. It's so hot and I am so drenched in sweat right now. I can't do this anymore. That's so dramatic. We're looking for the transport hub because we want to try go to town. I'm sorry if this video is shaky. I'm actually so lightheaded right now. But we're gonna keep walking there. 
Okay, we made it to the bus. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are we the only one? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Bye. We made it to Bu. <laughs> now we're at this flea market thing, and we're registering. I got this fan for free, and I also got a can bottle opener. Thank you. Thank you. So you get this Buan card upon registration. Now me and Annie are gonna make mirrors. Uh, guys, me and Annie were dancing in the middle there, and this girl freaking sprayed so much water on me. I'm literally drenched. I mean like a Kedai Baju They always play this kind of song Market. market and now we're gonna try and find a mart yeah a convenience store because the one on campus campus the one at the jamboree has really limited stuff sorry i don't know why my english is so bad today even though english is my first language <laughs> i can't seem to talk properly guys <laughs> we got free water oh i need this if you didn't know already the jamboree is like on the headlines of every news portal right now in korea and all over the world, even in Malaysia, I heard it came out on the TV. But how a lot of participants are getting hospitalized for heat wave and like heat shock. Heat stroke. Heat stroke. <laughs> and they gave us free water, which is so kind. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Ajushi. Thank you, Ajushi. Thank you. This really saved us today. We're gonna go to that cafe. That one, a twosome place. And then we're gonna go to that convenience store after. We're hoping to get um, dessert. Maybe some cake. Oh, we can cross the road. My first time crossing a road in Korea. <laughs> but oh, technically true. We have 14 seconds. We have. Oh, the, the ground lights up, guys. Twosome place. Let's go in. So we got this mango apple bingsu. Shall we try it? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> I almost dropped it. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, the mango. Let me try the cake. Let's just show you. Let's rate it. I say 8. You? 8 plus 5. I'm gonna go and check out the convenience store. I really like, I really like this. Okay, I'm getting all these snacks. Got it, thank you. We are going back to the bus. Hopefully we make it on time. I have my food snacks here. And we're gonna try and catch dinner back at the Jamboree side because it's James' last day. So we want to pass him our plates for the last time. <laughs> so it is 7 16 and we are on the way back to the campsite for dinner. Did you have fun and one? I should have loved it. So Just being out of the Jamboree, I literally forgot what civilization looks like. And are you having fun at this Jamboree? Yes. I actually feel like things are much better now. It's getting more happening. I feel very happening also. Yeah. So we are back at the campsite. It is currently sunset if you can see and we have 26 minutes left to make it to dinner so hopefully we make it the temperature was so high today that all activities in sectors a and b and c was cancelled that's basically all the activities except offsite activities so a lot of isds are free and there's a beach party today and a lot of them are going today but we're thinking of going tomorrow because we're a bit tired but there's still a lot of fun activities on the campsite so i'll show you guys later i talked about the worst part of my day now i'll talk about my favorite part of the day it is when all of our jobs end it usually ends around like 5 pm the campsite comes alive like the isc base camp it comes alive i'll show you around so this is our clean this is our clinic that's our staff hub and then and then we have the convenience store right there and then a huge field okay kind of find a spot now
guys so now we are walking back to our tent and it's so dark like can't see anything this is not a haunted movie series this is our campsite but honestly this is what camping is about this is our humble home Ding. I love my tent. At first I hated it, but I love it now. And as you can see, it is very, very messy. This this is all my mess. Any's mess is tidy. You know at Jamborees, you must always lock your tent with a padlock while you're out in the day. Actually, please unlock the- Ah! Paddy! Look how tall the grass is here. It's so gatal. By the way, the night is not over yet. This is the staff hut. There's a lot of people now. Hi! Can I say hi to the vlog? Hello! What's your name? Amy, nice to Amy. meet you. I'm from the UK. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. Oh, lovely. I study in the UK. Where do you study? Uni of Law. Oh, very nice, very nice. But now aku dengar kurang cakap, cakap. Okay guys, so it's currently 10.37 we are so tired I'm thinking of doing daily vlogging so I might just continue vlogging tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow I'm starting to have a really good time and I want to share that with you the shitty days are over my camera battery is about to die though so I have to change my battery and I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna sleep so talk to you later I've just showered and it is like 11 or 12. Honestly, I don't know what time it is. But I'm actually really starting to enjoy the jamboree now. And the Korean government has really made a lot of obvious efforts to make the situation at the jamboree better. So thank you if you ever come across this video because we see so many good changes around the jamboree today. And yeah, it's been so fun. Today was a really good day and I'm hoping the days to come will be good as well. So if you enjoyed this vlog, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe? <laughs> subscribe. See you in my next video or tomorrow. Bye!